أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا in Learn Colloquial Arabic with Dina. In today's episode, the most common 1,000 essential words in Arabic, we will be learning about the basic interrogative pronouns, which will help you in forming questions. The interrogative pronouns which are used for making questions is called in Arabic istifham, istifham. I will be teaching you the basic interrogative pronouns which are essential to help you form questions. Let's start and begin with al-istifham. Where? Where? In Arabic we say fain, fain, and at times you might hear it as wain. Wain. So, fain or wain means where. So, if you want to say, where is the boy? You say, fain il walad. Fain il walad. You can change the boy and replace it with any noun you are searching for. Where is the boy? Fain il walad. The second interrogative pronoun or istifham is who and in Arabic we say mean mean if you want to ask about anyone you can attach to the word mean any of the pronouns which had been taught in the previous episode you can watch Arabic pronouns so if you want to say who is he Simply you can say Min huwa Min huwa And if you want to ask Who is she You say Min hiya Min hiya And if you want to say Who are you You can say Min inta for a masculine And min inti for a feminine The third How which means kif, kif. In previous episode of the Arabic greeting part one, we have used the word kif when we wanted to ask about your health or simply how are you. So we say kif halak, kif halak, and this is used for masculine. And we say kif halak, kif halak, if you want to ask feminine. How much we say kem, kem. And this can be used whenever you want to ask about quantity or you want to ask about time or you want to ask about price or someone age. So you use the word kem, kem. So when you want to say what is the time, in Arabic literally it means how much is the time. So we say كم الساعة كم الساعة كم الساعة Please note that the word ساعة means time and can also be used as the word clock or watch. So كم الساعة How much is the time? Which means what is the time? كم الساعة Next What So we use Shoe, shoe. We have used this previously when we wanted to ask about the name. So we say, shoe is smack if you're asking a male. Shoe is smack. And if you want to ask a female, you say, shoe is smack. Shoe is smack. I suggest you to watch the previous episode or to revise them back again. Shoe is smack and shoe is smack. And finally, whenever you want to ask for whom, you say la mean, la mean. So we have combined mean, which is who, and la. So la mean means for whom. So if you wanted to ask for whom is the book, last episode we have learned two nouns, 
book is kitab and qalam is pen. So if you want to ask for whom is the book, you simply say lamin al kitab, lamin al kitab, and if you want to say for whom is the pen, lamin al qalam, lamin al qalam. Let's recap them back again. Fain, fain means where. Mean, mean means who. Keef, keef, how. Kem, kem means how much. Shu, shu means what. Lamin. Lamin for whom? I suggest you to learn them by adding a noun to them and make them as a question or a sentence. This simplifies simplifies it for you and makes you recall them much faster. Fain, mean, keef, kem, shu, what? Lamin. In the next episodes, we will start learning how to use these interrogative pronouns to ask questions and know how to answer them. So well done. Mumtaz. That's all for today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed learning Al-Istifham. Your vocabulary is increasing and that is incredible. But remember, practicing is very essential. So practice, practice, and practice. Thanks, you. Thanks for watching. Shukran. See you in the next episode in Learn Colloquial Arabic with Dina. Ma salame and goodbye.